Happy New Year's, Gemini. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Ayoka. For those of you who don't know me, I definitely appreciate your support. I'm especially rocking with me for the year 2021, and hopefully I will be able to continue to contribute to your life in 2022, okay? So, cross watchers, if you tuned in, take it as if I'm speaking directly to you. Overall, you guys, please use the spirit of discernment as you're viewing this video. Take what you need and leave what you don't need literally we're all on different timelines so i could be speaking of past energy now energy or it may not even have happened yet okay so stay hopeful okay that's all i want to tell you stay hopeful um if you're feeling triggered by anything in the video definitely use that as an opportunity to face the mirror so that you can release that all right this is a new year new you gemini okay <sighs> hopefully <laughs> all right y'all so look check this out i'm gonna set my intentions and then i'm gonna get started thank you holy spirit thank you my angelic guides for helping me with this collective gemini reading protect us as we go through the spiritual gates to commune with you close the gates to anything not in alignment with the divine's will or the purpose of this reading thank you for using me as a clear channel to deliver this message to gemini and so it is thank you that no weapons formed against us shall prosper show me what i need to see for gemini with Gemini's energy. Don't forget to hit the like button, y'all. The sun card wants to come out, so I'm giving it to it. It's about your new beginning. Okay? It takes a lot of optimism to manifest here. What you trying to do. Alright? I see that because, yeah, the door to romance is in the reverse and the door to value is in the reverse. Okay? The sun card overall to me is like the brightest card in the deck. It's the first card in the deck and it outshines all the darkness. Okay. So, again, you got to bathe in that shit, Gemini. Stay positive because this is about your new beginning. You have a new beginning in love and in money, but that's in the reverse. So, you may feel like it's delays. You may feel like it's not going to happen. Whatever it is. I feel it has a lot to do with your mindset, your level of attraction, okay? Basically, when I say your level of attraction, is like it's your vibration, it's your frequency. So if you are vibing low and you're thinking negative about a lot of things, these doors are going to be shut or it's going to be delays, okay? So shift your energy here. Um, but overall, the sun is still shining on you. Regardless of what you may think or feel, the sun is still shining on you is what I'm seeing. Tell me about the sun card. Tell me about the sun card here for Gemini. Yep, king of wands in the upright position. So basically, you're ready to get some things done. Okay? You're, you're passionate about it. You want to get these things done because you're not happy. You're totally dissatisfied. Nine of cups in the reverse. It's like you want to be able to get to your wish fulfillment. You want all nine of your cups filled and you want it now. Okay, that's love and um, money is what I'm seeing. You're ready to you ready to literally reach your legacy like right now. <laughs> okay, Gemini, I definitely see what's going on here. All right, but I can see you ready to get things done. You're disappointed because all of the effort that you're putting in with the nine of pentacles and the reverse, you may feel like it's not happening again. It's like, what's happening? I'm not seeing any results. Don't throw in a towel, Gemini. Take a break for a minute, okay? Because you laboring. You, you putting in a lot of hard work is what I'm seeing. You need to take a second to step back so you can admire the fruits of your labor. You want to see an end of your hardships. I get it. You want your efforts to pay off. I get it. You want your, your friendships or a friendship to turn into a love romance or you or you want to see some type of progress here in your life. Whatever that may be, you want to see it work, Okay? But it is actually working. So spirit is like, yo, take a step back. Take a break for a second so that you can see what's actually happening. The sun is literally shining on you. You have all of these things in front of you. You manifested love. You manifested a career. And even though it's not moving the way as fast as you want it to move, you manifested it. Like you can actually literally take a step back and look at what you have planted. The seeds you planted are already beginning to take root. They're sprouting. The money is there. Okay. The investments are there. Okay. But they're just not ready at this moment. But it's happening. Like literally. So take a step back, Gemini. Tell me about the door to romance. Reverse. Yeah. 
it's like when it comes to you building a firm foundation for yourself here um whatever that may be for you in love you stuck in the past six of cups in the reverse or this person is stuck in the past okay clinging to the past unable to move forward to even open up to new love or new people focusing on the trials and the tribulations with the ace of swords in the reverse focusing on it's like a state of confusion is what i'm seeing or or you're just unsure this person is unsure instead of opening up gaining some clarity over your situation it's going in the opposite direction it's like non-communicating okay um not taking any steps is what i'm saying not even baby steps are being taken it's so many ways that you can literally solve your problems just by honestly communicating here is what i'm seeing mm -hmm. look at that and getting more discipline so you may be trying to show off like oh i'm the emperor i got this together i'm stable i'm disciplined not showing that it not one ounce of emotion behind it but it's like page of wands in a reverse you've got all of these ideas it's so much stuff you want to manifest when it comes to love, but you don't know how to put it into action. You want to know why? Because ego is in the way. You're eager to execute this, but your ego gets in the way. The Six of Cups in the reverse, again, stuck in the past, clinging to the things that no longer serve you. And it's restricting you from being able to move forward. You're unable to. Okay, clinging to past lovers, clinging to past situations, whatever that may be. And this is why the door to romance is shut. like, Or it feels like it's delays in that area. <clears throat> Show me what I need to see. It's a new year, Gemini. Okay, you may be focusing on trying to build your money. You want to be able to offer something serious or whoever this masculine is in your story. Is what I'm seeing. They they want to be able to be a provider. They want to be able to offer something serious to a relationship, to be emotionally, financially secure. You want to say a great partner and everything. The King of Pentacles is so slow to commit, though. So I definitely see that. But the reason why is because it it's it's about long term. Okay, so it's like when you have these long term goals that you want to achieve, it's like the situation needs to be stable. Is what I'm seeing. It's like no risk taken. I needed to be perfect, right? And that's what it feels like, Gemini, that you could be sitting here or Gemini's person waiting for the situation to be perfect to manifest it. And that's not the case here is what I'm saying. It, it, it's, it's not going to achieve perfection. Nothing does. But also what I'm hearing is because of clinging to the past, that's going to be the barrier to your future success in all areas. Your money and in your love life. You're dissatisfied. Nine of cups in the reverse. You're not happy. Tell me about this door value in the reverse mm -hmm. nine of pentacles because you feel like you are not self-sufficient nine of pentacles take a step back and look at all that you're manifesting look at the seeds you have planted okay you can overcome your challenges you can you gotta just keep working to achieve your goals is what i'm seeing but overall when it's in the reverse either you could be worried about your own independence right now and just really just trying to be able to have that financial stability in order to even offer love wow you got a person in your life gemini that you have a lot of emotion for i have a queen of cups or you are that person this person may have a lot of emotion for you and love you okay a lot um but it's going to require you to tap into your intuition with this trust what you know to be true is what i heard because literally this is about your achievements with the world card this is about you this is about your wholeness gemini this is something here where in order for you to complete certain cycles
You have to become one with yourself. Mm -hmm. You're disconnected from yourself is what I'm hearing. There's a disconnect and, and the disharmony is within you. Okay, because your efforts literally are paying off. You feel like you're missing something because the success you're looking to achieve now hasn't manifested as of yet. But the sun is still shining on you, Gemini. Bask in it. Enjoy it. Like, literally, enjoy the fruits of your labor. You've, you've done so much. I'm hearing you accomplish a lot. It may not be exactly what you think it should look like, but you have accomplished many things. Okay? I'm hearing people, you have had children. Okay? Some of you are married. Some of you have graduated from schools, um, whether it's a college, a university, or um, two-year two colleges. It could be uh, trade schools. You've done it. You've had a fulfilling life, but it may not look exactly how you want it to look at this moment, but you will get to your six of wands. But it's going to take determination. It's going to take for you to release the guilt. Hmm? I know, right? Release the past because it's creating an imbalance here in your life. So, I want to get some, I feel like I done gave you a lot of guidance. <laughs> Let's give you a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, look, relationship comes straight out. Wow. But look, remember everything I was saying. This is about your wholeness, right? Your first primary relationship is with yourself. Okay, yourself and with, with the divine, with the universe, however it resonates with you. And every other relationship from there will follow. You have to be whole. Okay, this is about being one with yourself. This is about your own alignment, Gemini. In order for you to attract and to heal or to have something balanced in your life when it comes to love, it's you that have to be fulfilled and whole with you. Okay, so snuggle more closely with yourself, with the divine, with the universe. Feel safe. You don't feel safe. That's it. Mm -hmm, look, the sun car came out again. Honeys, the sun is shining on you in your love life and in your wealth, your money. Stay positive. Stay optimistic. Have that childlike energy with it. Just be excited for no freaking reason. Like, children are just happy. Have no cares, no worries in the world. They're just happy. Manifesting their toys, all of their little desires. Right? Connect to that. Stay positive because the sun is shining bright as shit on you and your life right now, Gemini. I don't know any other way to put it. And I really want to be able to help you guys because we don't need no bullshit in 2022. Look at this. Flirt. Be in a lighthearted energy here with this person. Okay, but very soon, as soon as you make a decision, you clearly decide what you want, it's going to come to you. Literally. That's how the universe works. Indecisiveness just going to give you more things to freaking try to figure out with how to, how to uh, have a solution to it. Be clear. You know what you want. First thing that comes to mind, that's what you want. God damn it. Claim that shit. Own that shit. The universe wants to bring it to you, whether it's love or whether it's money. Okay, honeymoon. So, I'm going to pull on that. You may be in a honeymoon stage with someone or you may want to, you may have wanted to even spend the holidays with someone. Okay, that just passed. But, or you may want to marry somebody. But if you decide, make a decision. What you want? You want marriage? You want your ten of pentacles, which is your legacy? You want to be a power couple? What you want? You worried about that. Nine of swords. You stressed about it. You worried about if you want to be happy and get this new beginning in your life. Check this out. You losing sleep over the shit. Why? I know it sounds easier said than done, but it's just like as you hear me telling it to you, Gemini, don't it make it sound like 
yeah <laughs> yeah that, that yeah why am i doing that take and just step back for a second and look at all of the wonderful things you have going for you in your life and the connections you have in your life you got a strong bond with somebody that's a blessing from the universe take and look at the fact that you got somebody by your side that's rocking with you and you worried if, if it's gonna work out and it's showing like bam yo what y'all got is genuine it's it's harmony between y'all two it's an equal give and take in the past is what's keeping you from being able to fully open up to the possibilities of this person Mm -hmm. let go of the anxiety the worry the stress don't be the wounded warrior the nine of swords is the wounded warrior honey hurt this is a great awakening for you is what i just heard this is a time to awaken because you've been in a state of mental anxiety for too long. Some of you have mental overloads or your mental state is bad. And I ain't coming for nobody, but this literally what it is. It's time. Spirit is saying it's time for you to come out of that isolation, that worry, that fear, that anxiety, the negative thinking, and it's time for you to recover. It's time for you to heal. It's time for you to allow. Look, the emotional loss. Mm -mm. That's what you focus on. Release that to the ethers. It's time for you to get this new beginning. And what I'm hearing is time. Like, stand in your power. Let me read the emotional loss card to y'all. Then I'm going to get ready to let you go. Because this one hell of a lecture. I know that. But guess what? I say everything out of love because, again, I try to help you get from out of the stuck places. <laughs> you want a new beginning? Let me help you, Gemini. It says, um, hmm, I had it on the wrong page. It says, the number five emotions card come forth at a time when you may be experiencing or grieving a loss. Okay. It could be of someone or something you were emotionally attached to. Honor your feelings. Only by healing and loving yourself, by letting go of the past, can you continue in your journey. The suffering associated with the loss delivers profound wisdom and knowledge for your soul. Your unique gifts, your talents and abilities, as well as your joy and sorrow will not only make up who you really are, but better yet, who you will become. The painful experiences of life are equally as valuable as the joyous ones. Focus all of your positive energy on the good in your life and what you are grateful for. I said all of that, right? Use your healing energy in this way and try not to focus on what you've lost. For new beginnings and happiness are just around the corner. The sun is shining on you brightly. And very soon, as you decide to let go of this emotional loss, it's yours. Stand in your power. Let me look for the power card. Got it. Let me see something. As a spiritual being, you have unlimited power at your command. This card represents inner strength, willpower, courage, compassion, generosity, and love. At any moment, these beautiful qualities can assist you in coping with an adverse condition in front of you or the many surrounding your life. Set aside the necessary time to resolve such issues. 
Power represents more than physical external strength. It can also be channeled emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. When you have a balance over body, mind, and soul, and with the power of spirit, anything can be anything can be overcome to achieve a positive result. Power and strength can be developed to work in harmony in any given situation. Every obstacle, every error helps build your knowledge and understanding of the world around you. When you make a mistake, it's a chance for you to stop, listen, and ask yourself, what am I supposed to be learning here? And how can I make this situation better? Mistakes are great wake-up calls in that they provide you with the opportunities to discover your weaknesses, what needs to be changed, and which area of your life need improving. Equally, they can be a blessing in disguise. Just remember, you are power. Okay, Gemini? I hope that helps you guys, okay? I, I, I feel like I may... <laughs> I'm going to ask for it to grant me the strength because I feel like I need to read for all the zodiac signs <laughs> every day because you guys, okay, let's learn from our past and release what no longer serves us. This new beginning, Gemini, is yours. All you got to do is take it. Peace.